This Joomla 1.5 video tutorial was provided by MLDS Networks. You can find us online at www.mlds-networks.com. Joomla is a content management system. It is a simple way to create a website and manage content and rotate and remove and organize content. Your site comes in two pieces. The front end of the website, which is what users see and what you want to present to people, and the administrative back end. To access the administrative back end where you do all your work, you go to yourwebsite.com slash administrator. From here, you can log in with your administrative user, and then you will see the main menu area for all your content. You will see logged in users on the right. You can look at what some of your popular pages are, recently added pages, and some statistics on your menus and what's being clicked. You can also create a new article, manage existing articles, manage front page items, manage sections and categories, upload new media such as images, and manage menus. You can also manage users and total site configuration. There's also a collection of quick links across the top which you can use to quickly jump to a lot of the same items down here such as you can go to article manager as well as article manager. All content in Joomla is hierarchical. It consists of three different parts. Your overall site which contains all your content. Then inside this you have sections and inside those you have categories and inside the categories hold your content items. Content items cannot belong to more than one category or section and categories cannot belong to more than one section. Organization of your categories and sections will be important for managing how menu items link to and view content later. So let's create a new section. Click on Section Manager, and you would see a list here of any existing sections. We don't have any right now, and so we want to create a new one. So we click New in the upper right-hand corner, and we will see an area for a title, an alias, and a description. I normally ignore the descriptions. I put in a title. We're going to call this Animals, and you can put in an alias. Um, I normally make them the same. And you want to say that it's Publish. Yes, and you want to hit save or apply. I could hit apply, which would save the section, but it would bring me back here to edit it. If I hit save, it will save it. It is important to always use the save and close buttons up at the top instead of just closing a web page. So now we have a new section here. If I wanted to delete it, I could checkbox the one I wanted to delete and hit delete. Or if I wanted to um, copy it, I could hit copy. Now, to, before I can make content, I also need to make a category to add to our section. See here again, it looks a lot like the section area. I would have categories listed, and I don't have any, so I want to make a new one. I'm going to make one called dogs. Again, I'm going to make the alias the same, and I'm going to leave it a member of the section animals. Because remember, categories go inside sections, and then we will put our content inside categories. These are purely for organization. So I hit save. Now I have my new uh, category, which is a member of animal. And I want to create an article inside of it. Again, in the article manager, I would see all my different web pages that I've created. Again, I don't have any, so I want to make a new one. I want to make one called Raising Dogs. And I could give it uh, an alias. Uh, normally I make it the same name. And I want to say which section it belongs to first. And so that's, I'm going to use Animals. And notice it automatically switched this to Dogs because it's the only category I have inside that section right now. I want this to be published right away so that people can view it on my site. I also want to make it on the front page. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes here. Then down here in this editor area is where I can make my content that users will actually see. So in this case I'm going to make a 
heading. And put in some content. I can go ahead and uh, hit save. It will save this article. And then since I said to put it on my front page, and you can see that the front page is checked here. If I view my website again, now that article will be on the front page. If I wanted to have that article not show up, I could click the publish check here, which switches it to um, an X so that this page won't show up on the site anymore. Even though I have it marked to be on the front page, it's not going to show up anymore. Uh, I can use this to help um, if I'm not done f making a web page yet, I can keep editing it and not have users see it. If I go back into editing the page, you will also see that there is a start publishing and finish publishing where you can spend a date and time when a page will appear on the website automatically and disappear from the website automatically. There's a little calendar over here you can click so you can select your day that you wish this to start instead of having to type out the full date. This Joomla 1.5 video tutorial was provided by MLDS Networks. You can find us online at www.mlds-networks.com.